It's a global net show, and well, we are looking at the role of the social media, the new media, in championing causes as it is happening right now in Nigeria. And well, we are open. At least now, we are beginning to realize the power, you know, of the social media, and you know what they can do in achieving results that are so so important. Yeah, the, the, the good side of it that I have seen from this Chibok, you know, affair is that, well, well sometimes people can take to the street, mm -hmm. carry a placard and whatever. Yeah. But majority of citizens, both local and in the diaspora, now use this gadget yeah. by just having a Twitter account or Facebook, and you begin to express yourself, mm -hmm. your anger, your frustrations. Mm -hmm. Rather than going to slap somebody, mm -hmm. you just put it there. Yeah. It doesn't really matter whether it's complimentary okay. or not. Yeah. First of all, the, the act of governance is not about the leaders being praised. Mm -hmm. It's about abuse. We remember when people stoned uh, Margaret Thatcher with a tomato mm -hmm. in London, you know? Barack Obama, when he's talking, people heckle at the background until some security guys have to carry somebody out. That is governance. So, for me, I see something good out of this Chibok affair. I call it the metaphor, the Nigerian metaphor. Because now government officials will know that globally you must be held no, to Fida, you have account. you have always been uh, you have always uh, 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 talked about the importance of accountability through transparent uh, 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 social media network. You've yes. always talked about that. You've always talked about uh, Nigerian uh, uh, corporations, Nigerian uh, 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 institutions, uh, Nigerian even ministries uh, yes. uh, uh, doing everything in the open, you know, uh, through uh, 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 you know uh, uh, the the the, the uh, internet, yes. you know, because the internet drives makes all of this yes, uh, uh, possible. Uh, possible. Yes. Okay. So you've always been uh, 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 a champion of all of that, uh, and it, it's we are beginning to see why. Okay. And against the background of your campaign, also for effective uh, internet penetration, broadband penetration, because uh, all of this is made possible against that background yes. of that penetration exactly okay? you know and we are happy you know that <laughs> despite the fact that we started late it does appear that as the penetration is getting wider and wider yes. the online community in nigeria the number is staggering you know enormous enormous and 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 you see these are all of the things that are driving what is happening in our country and immediately it is recognized by one or two known faces all over the world it brings instant attention you know and before you know it it's out of your own control only what cnn is doing you can't beat that jim clancy had decided that he must stay on this chibok whatever and so nobody will say that it is the opposition politician that is paying cnn and bbc to unleash those things if it were that way around yeah they would say ah, you say uh, you know uncle ashwaju and uh, muhammad the buhari that is doing that the people are just concerned that the life we are living must be what why god brought us to this world it is a humanity that you lean on me, I lean on you. So, like we say in my place, when someone dies, you, you don't go to a farm, you don't go to a party, everybody, you know, mourn together. And that is why Nigerians, we must leave it when we say Nigerians are good people. We must leave to that point to be seen that we're actually good people. And this Chibok metaphor should reflect on our humanity. Because it could happen to anybody, yes. it could happen anywhere. Okay. And what's going to happen to you, you need people to rally around you. All right, uh, for once, we, we are all united in this. We are all galvanized to action. And we are all saying that no stone must be left unturned. And, and again, quickly, because we are running out of time. 
uh, our feeder, Nigeria's government uh, has agreed to help, you know, from those who have superior equipment, who can help get more intelligence into rescuing uh, these girls. Every day is vital. Yes. Every hour is every, important. Every hour, not even, even day now. Not day. Every, every hour. hour. Yes. You know, because uh, all of the, the, this, these terrorists are also uh, uh, trying to see all of the things that are happening. And they are also making their own moves. Of course. You know, and saying that, look, maybe they've scattered all these guys by yes. now. And say, yes. okay, we'll make it impossible for you to come and get all of them in one place. Absolutely. How many, is, uh, 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 how many raids are you going to carry out yeah. simultaneously to be able to get all of these guys back? But what is most important now is that we have agreed now, albeit reluctantly, that we need help, you know, in this, you know, uh, uh, fight against the insurgents. And uh, for my own understanding, once this help comes once, there is always a basis for saying, how do we continue to do this on a permanent basis? So maybe for the first time, we are truly on the, on, on the right track in confronting this evil that has the potential to destabilize you know, the greatness of this country. I agree with you totally. I agree with you. It's not going to be a one-off thing. Nigeria must be the hub of the anti-terrorism fight. Okay. Because of our size, because of our space, and because of the importance how if you demobilize Nigeria, it will also demobilize the entire West Africa. So the leaders know it. That is why they are interested in coming to help. And I no once they come they won't be in a hurry to leave. to leave. Yes. It will be about planning yes. and planning and strategizing yes. and training. Training. It's most importantly, yes. you know, our own guys to be they able need to, be trained. You know, to, to, to understand yes. you know, what confronts them. Yeah. Because it's not just about, about, about Nigeria's military, it's about the right mentality to know what they are fighting. Yes. This is not a conventional war. No. Terrorism no. is not easy to fight no. anywhere in the world. President Goodluck Jonathan must continue to do. He has promised the whole world. He said, We will find these girls. <laughs> I was listening to the, to, to the president and said, Oh, this is a big promise. Okay. So, we will find these girls. <laughs> he has no choice. Uh, he, he, has no he, choice. Has no choice. he has no choice. He has no choice. And things mm -hmm. has to give. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, well, you can uh, continue to uh, send us SMS. You know, we don't uh, want to take uh, calls because of uh, time. Uh, if you want to share your thoughts with us uh, and all of that, uh, 0817-649-0257. Let us team. Let us hear what you have to say. Say, two X, three X are better than one together. You know, we can be able to find solution to all of this problem. The World Economic Forum continues in, yes. in Abuja, despite all of the things that are happening, and we are hoping that all goes so smoothly because so many foreigners are in the city, and the world. whatever happens, Nigeria will never be the same again, and more importantly, everybody knows that somewhere, somehow, somebody is watching. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> God is watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, practically, the director says we must uh, bring it uh, to a close, uh, and that's exactly what we we'll do. We we'll continue next week, by the grace of God, on the, this platform. I'm Kunle Abolish. Have a lovely and fantastic uh, Thursday, Fidel. Thank you for watching. See you next